Happy Thursday, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, I want to talk to you today about Jesus. About the divine exchange. Why he came. Tonight we're going to talk about the Christmas story. We're probably going to stream our service tonight live on Periscope because we're still fussing with some of the other uh, streaming services to see which one works better. But we still have Periscope available to us, so we'll probably use that tonight. So our, our service will be on Periscope. So we'll stream that live for you, the whole service, including the music and uh, the candlelight service part of it and everything. So we're having a wonderful candlelight service. If you happen to be in the Melbourne area tonight, come by and see us. And we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And we're having a cookie exchange. Going to be a lot of cookies. You don't have to bring anything. Just come. Amen. Six o'clock. Life Church. North A1A right by the uh, 192 Causeway. We're out on the beach. Our church is 400 feet from the water. From the ocean. So we're, we're beach people. Amen. We'd love to have you come and celebrate. You see the big yellow sign that says Life Church. Everyone welcome. Spirit filled. Glory to God, huh? Say this with me on this Christmas Eve. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything works out for me. Amen. God will provide all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Talk like that. Say these things every day. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. I'm always available to take your calls, even on Christmas Day. You got something big going on that you need me to pray about on Christmas Day, I am available. I answer the phone. Amen. And I'm going to be at a Christmas dinner tomorrow, but I answer the phone. Everybody knows when I'm around and that phone rings, I answer the phone because I love to pray with God's people. And everybody needs somebody, somebody that they can go to. I'm the go-to person. I'm the person to call when you need something quickly from the Lord. Amen. And we make miracles happen through the power in the name of Jesus and in the power of God's might. God does miracles through people. One of the biggest miracles the world has ever seen was the birth of Jesus. We're going to talk about that tonight. Amen. And I'm excited about it. And we talk about it every Christmas Eve when we have our service. And I'm still excited about it every Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness. What a wonderful, wonderful Savior we have. Don't forget, if you do your offerings and donations today, make sure you call me. We can make today offering day, if you want to, or Saturday. I know you need to get your offerings in. A lot of people do them over the night, Thursday night anyway. So uh, today can be offering day. But make sure you call me, whether you do your offerings today, or some people may even do them tomorrow. People were doing their offerings last night during the night. So make sure those people need to call me today to make sure that we get the blessing spoken over your offering. The word-for-word word blessing is supposed to be spoken over your offering. So make sure you call me. Hey, I want to talk to you today about the divine exchange. Why Jesus came. The Bible tells us in Galatians 3.13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. He went to the cross. Made out of wood. That's the tree. Actually, I could have said, cursed is everyone who hangs on wood. Is how it could read. And, and so he came. And so that the blessing of Abraham 
might come on the Gentiles. Now, the Gentiles were not available for the blessing before Jesus came. But Jesus came and redeemed us from the curse of the law. See, the Jews received the blessing by inheritance. But once Jesus came, then the blessing also became our inheritance. It says, if you be Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise or the blessing. We are heirs of this promise, the blessing. Amen? Because of what Jesus did for us. Now, the divine exchange, there's four parts to it. Four parts to the divine exchange. Most people just, they, they, they talk about how Jesus took our place for sin, and he did. It tells us in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 21, and I'll read that to you. It says, He who knew no sin, 2 Corinthians 5, 21, it says, For he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God by Christ Jesus. All of this is in my book, the Jesus book. This is a great book. Amen. Get a hold of that book. It's at Amazon. Jesus became sin for us. That was the first part of the exchange. Because when Adam sinned in the garden, then everybody who came after Adam was born with a sin nature and was born with that sin in him because sin is inherited. We inherit the sins of our fathers and, and it has to be broken and it has to be paid for. Now, since everybody inherits the sins of Adam and the sins of our father, that goes away the minute you repent for your sins and receive Jesus as your savior. All that is gone. It's like you don't inherit nothing. You don't inherit that. The only thing you inherit is the blessing of God. And you're redeemed. But you're redeemed from that sin. So part one of the exchange is that we are redeemed from sin. When Adam sinned, something else came into the world. Sickness. <clears throat> Sickness came into the world. But the Bible tells us in 1 Peter 2.24 that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus. We were healed by the stripes of Jesus. Glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? That we were healed by the stripes of Jesus? That's part two of the divine exchange. Jesus took stripes on his back and became sick so that we could become healed. In order for Jesus to pay the price for sickness, it had to be a person who was in perfect health. And Jesus, until his time to go to the cross, was in perfect health. Amen? And so he took our place. He became sick for us so that we could live a healthy life. Number three was poverty. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 8 9, for we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, Yet for our sake, he became poor, that we, through his poverty, might be made rich. Through the poverty of Jesus, we became rich. Now, Jesus, when he came to this earth, was as rich as rich can be. He was walking on streets of gold. That is rich, folks. And even when he was on this earth, walking around with his disciples, he had on a robe that was so good that when he went to the cross, they wouldn't cut it up. Jesus had the best of everything. He had wealthy friends that took care of him. He had somebody walking around with a money bag to supply all of his needs. God supplied all of his needs. Abundantly, he had plenty of money. But when he went to the cross, he was broke. They took all of his money, took everything away from him, including his clothes and hung him on a cross. And that's as poor as poor can be. And he became poor so that we 
could become rich because poverty is one of the curses of the law. Amen. That's number three. Number four is God told Adam, because of you, the earth is cursed in Genesis 3, 17 and 18. Because of you, the earth is cursed. You shall make a living by the sweat on your face, God said, and thorns shall be a sign of the hard life. Deuteronomy 28 talks about the hard life. And the rain shall be like dust, and the, and the ground below is brass, and the sky above is iron. This is a hard life, folks. Most people live a hard life, but we're redeemed from the hard life because of our Lord and Savior. He redeemed us from the hard life by wearing a crown of thorns on his head when he went to the cross. God said that thorns are a sign of a hard life. And Jesus redeemed us from a hard life. So we're totally redeemed. That is what we call, or what I call, the divine exchange. I've heard other people say that. But other people don't go into it like I just did. And they definitely leave out the hard life part because they don't understand that we're some, that, that people live a hard life. So many people live a hard life. You don't have to. You can live a wonderful life through the power in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> God sent us a wonderful Savior who was born on Christmas morning. Glory to God. The angels saying hallelujah. We sang hallelujah last night. Glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill to men. We're going to talk about all that tonight. Glory to God. We have just such a wonderful, wonderful Savior. I thank God every day for his gift of Jesus. Jesus is truly the gift that keeps on giving. Receive Jesus into your heart right now. If you've never done that, just pray with me. Just say, Heavenly Father, I repent for all my sins. And Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and be my Savior and I will serve you for all eternity. If you did that, you're redeemed from the curse of the law. You don't have to live a sinful life, a hard life, a life of sickness and poverty, because you're redeemed. Amen. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these spirit-filled videos. These are the most advanced spirit-filled videos you'll find anywhere. Amen. And then call me if you need prayer. I am probably the only minister of a large organization in this country that is available to pray with people. Amen. My phone number is right there on my website. Top of the page. Call me. I'll get your prayers answered for you. We'll get you healed. We'll get the blessing of God upon you. We'll break the curse of the law. And you can live a wonderful, abundant, healthy, stress-free, happy life the way God intended because of what our Lord and Savior did for us. Have a wonderful Christmas. I love you very much. And I'll see you back here again very soon through the power in the name of Jesus. Don't forget offering day today. Call me when you do your offerings. Because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you that God told us to speak. That was a huge gift that God gave us. And he gave us that way back 4,000 years ago. He told us to do that. But now I use the power in the name of Jesus when I speak that blessing. Have a wonderful day and a very Merry Christmas.